Hey guys, thought I'd just give a little bit of a tidbit thought about everything that's going on. Obviously the major discourse about the Oscars has been about Margot Robbie not being nominated for Best Actress, and then Greta Gerwig not being nominated for Best Director. Some see those as snubs, especially with Ken being nominated and that whole meme that's been going around where it's all about women, blah blah blah, and of course a man is the only one who's nominated. Yes. It is a little bit of a sour kind of uh by the Academy to do that, a little bit tone deaf. However, they are not wrong with why they didn't choose those two for those categories. And it's not like they aren't nominated for other aspects. Greta is nominated for Best Adapted Screenplay. Yes, it is a little weird that it's adapted because it's based on a toy. I can't think of another circumstance where something like this is so bizarrely attached to adapted. Yeah, I, I will say I thought it was a little weird that it was put in adapted, but I don't know if it would have won for original either because it's, it's not going to win in adapted, but it's not going to win in original either. There's too many to contend with. Uh, past Lives, another female uh, director writer Celine Song that I've heard is a very big front runner. I love the holdovers, and I've also heard that Anatomy of a Fall, written by Justine Trait and Arthur Harry, uh, that's probably those two. Past Lives and Anatomy of the Fall are the ones that are in the running for it. And then for adapted screenplay, you've got Oppenheimer <laughs> and you've got Poor Things in American fiction. So I don't think that it stands. A chance against those ones. I did not enjoy Barbie. I thought it was all right. I laughed. I thought it was a good movie. The thing that I think that's kind of bothering me a little bit is that the other accolades that have been garnered by other female uh, filmmakers in these nominations are not really being talked about at all. Like, if not, it's all of the vitriol because the vitriol is what everyone clicks on. Everyone wants to click on a negative thing rather than a positive. It's a common thing. I knew, I see that with my own videos. I see that more people will watch my worst of movies of the year than my best of, even though I like to try and put the worst last. But there are certain things that they should, like, I'm just amazed that it's not being talked about. Like, for Best Picture, you've got three female-led movies with Past Lives, Anatomy of a Fall, and Barbie. Barbie's got Margot Robbie in there, and some people might not see that as big as Best Actress. But I do have to mention, like, who would you replace of the five who are here? Annette Benning, Lily Gladstone, who is a very front runner for it. Sandra Huller from Anatomy of a Fall. Carrie Mulligan, who has deserved an Oscar for a long time at this point. Or Emma Stone, who is also a front runner. She was good, but she's not as good as those five. If there was six or seven nominations, sure, I would have put her in there. This is not... I, Tonya level of acting that Margot has shown. It was a funny movie, but Margot has done far better work with other movies. I, Tonya still to this day is her best performance in my opinion, and one of my favorite biopics in the last decade. And then in terms of Greta Gerwig, who we go on for the director, who would you have her remove? You got Justine Trait with Anatomy of a Fall, the one, the film that won the Palme d'Or, one of the most highly accoladed awards in film culture. It's held in much higher regard than Best Picture amongst the filmmaking community. It just doesn't generate as much buzz. For example, Parasite won that award and then just swept, but that was because Parasite was very, very, very good. But out of the five here, You've got Justine Trey with Anatomy of a Fall, Martin Scorsese with Killers of a Flower Moon. He spent literally years on this film. Oppenheimer with Christopher Nolan. This is admittedly Nolan's best movie in years. Poor Things with Yargos Lanthimos. I'm probably butchering that name, but I have not seen this film, but I have just seen some bits of it, and it is vividly crazy. Like, it's kind of like Barbie, but on acid, almost, in terms of how the film is constructed. And then you have the zone of interest, which that film is not just how the film is shown to the audience, but it is also an audio experience because of the subject matter of the movie. So which one of those would you replace with Greta? Again, same situation. I couldn't. Barbie is not a bad movie. It is a good movie, but it is not good as these. It's just a little bit of a reality. But at the same time, why is there not as much 
woo for Celine Song from Past Lives not being nominated. Don't see a lot about that. It's just because a lot of people went and saw Barbie. Just because your movie is a massive box office success does not mean it's going to warrant it. Like, look at Endgame. I know that's a Marvel movie. I'm making a very basic ape-like comparison, but that is commonplace. Dark Knight wasn't even nominated for Best Picture, yet somehow Black Panther was, but that was because of Oscar bait. Like, for the most part, Oscars are usually about the politics. As much as I love Brandon Fraser in The Whale, I really do think that Austin Butler deserved that award, but because of the track record, everyone loves an underdog story in the Oscars. Brendan Fraser got it, and you know what? I bet he's not going to get anything for a while. Lars. Austin Butler is going to get more and more work for quite some time. I do understand the uh about the fact that Ryan Gosling got nominated for Barbie. Admittedly, he is the best performance in that movie. I'm not denying it. He is the best performance in the movie. I'm still kind of amazed that American Ferreira got her nomination. Not to say that her monologue isn't probably one of the most important parts of the movie, but aside from that monologue, what else is she in that movie? Kind of for just being this side character that goes along with. I can understand too that there have been experiences in the past where actors have won four said scenes. Like Michelle Williams almost won four. Uh, Manchester by the Sea for one fucking scene. But that scene was heart-wrenching. It made everyone in the theater fucking cry. I can't say that for American Forever. I went and saw it at a drive-in and there was also these light issues. One of the reasons why I actually I never reviewed Barbie is because I didn't really see the ending properly until months later because in the last 20 minutes, some dickwad in front of me his car died and so it just kept on coming, the lights kept on going on. There are amazing, it's kind of amazing how many people do not understand how car batteries work, but I guess we are in that age. But going back to the best supporting actress role, Divine Joy Randolph has that in the bag. Some of the best parts of that movie were certain scenes with her that were just so, so, so crushing. Yes, I understand the discourse about Ken being nominated, but then again, going back to the nominations in the best actress role, I dare someone to pick a good one to remove because all you're doing is you're just removing one person who won't win unless you're choosing Lily. And same with Emma too. Yes, Margot and Greta were not nominated for actress or director, but they were also nominated for so many other things. And there were so many other female filmmakers who were nominated for other things. Celine Song, Justine Trait, uh, Sandra Huller. No one's talking about them. That's because it doesn't get you clicks. It doesn't get you any kind of things. And a lot of people didn't watch Anatomy of a Fall. I am one of those people. I have yet to see it, but because it's French, not a lot of people went and saw it. I find that when this kind of discourse happens, I would like to also focus on the positives of it. Because there are, there are some in this situation. And I feel that those should be getting a, some attention. Because I have heard nothing but exceedingly excellent things about Anatomy of the Fall. As well as Past Lives. Both of those movies are apparently phenomenal. Those are my thoughts. Interested to see what you guys have to say. I would love to see what you guys have to say in the comments. If I can have one ask, just make it, you know, as civil as we can be. Yes, you can have your opinion and you can have your reason as to why. Well, let's try and make it civil. Let's make it a discourse. That's what I like to see. I like to see a back and forth about why and kind of a mutual understanding. I feel it's something that people are so afraid to try and have anymore. That if you voice anything in any kind of opposition to what the mass is, that you're going to be... Blah, blah, blah. That's not just about film. It's about politics. It's about everything. But I wish we could have civil discourse again that's what the discourse of film is meant to be sure you can be passionate sure you can be like fueled about your opinion of the movie but you also should be willing to listen to outside forces that's something that the Zack snyder fans do not seem to understand at all <laughs> anyways guys that's all for me hope you liked the video if you did leave a like and if you're interested more subscribe and like i said please give me your comments down below i'm very interested to see what you guys have to say otherwise that's all for me See you guys next time.